So we've reached our next year of online schooling and some teachers are bouncing up a problem because their school would have switched from using whatever platform you could have used at that point in time. And now everybody moved over to Google Workspace, AKA formerly known as Google G Suite, right? So to use G Suite, you have to use Google Meet in order to get your classes live. The good thing about Google Workspace, aka G Suite, is that you have an integration between Google Classroom and Google Meet and everything just works in this unified space, which makes it kind of very easy for you to create Meet links and you don't have the hour limit and all that different stuff. The problem is, many parents would have bought Fire tablets for their children and there is a problem with Fire tablets and Google applications. So I'm going to try to explore some solutions after to help you be able to get Google Meet to work on the Amazon Fire Tablet so that your child could continue with their online class. All right, so the problem with the Fire Tablet stems from a yeah, basic thing with Android, right? So Android is a free operating system and Android is basically um, able to be utilized by anybody. So anybody who wants to could just take Android and create an operating system with it and create a device. So they could take Android and put it on a tablet, they could put it on a phone, they could put it on a car, they could put it on anything. And that's just a good thing about Android. So what happens is Android has been taken, um, is owned by Google and Google takes Android and creates their own devices and tells people, okay, if you want to use the Google version of Android, you must attach certain things to it. So you must attach the Play Store. You must attach Gmail. You must attach um, Docs, Drive, yeah, basically the, the normal Google apps that you usually get in a, in a folder. And when Google does that, the companies that use the Google version of Android, which is a little better because Google modifies the version of Android. So when Google gives you this operating system, they give you this version of Android and everybody installs it. So what happens is everybody from Samsung to Motorola to um, Huawei at a point in time, all of them will, will use the Google version of Android and put it on their phones and sell it. However, Android is still free and available to anybody. And what happened is Amazon took the version of Android and said, okay, we are going to make our own version. So there's the Amazon Fire version. The Amazon Fire version takes Android and it modifies it for Amazon's purposes. So Amazon will now bundle their apps with it, which will be like Prime Video, um, Amazon whatever, the Amazon app and all that stuff. So Amazon will bundle their apps and now you have to use that there. What happens with online schooling now is that we try to use a app that was made by Google on an Amazon tablet. So we try to use Google Classroom. And, um, and Google Meet. Now, if you want to use Google Classroom and Google Meet, they will work perfectly on a Google tablet because they are Google apps and they were made by Google for Google and they use the version of Android that you want. However, Google Classroom and Google Meet on a, on a Fire tablet, no, no bueno, doesn't work out very well because Amazon does not really want you to use the Google apps here because they never made the agreement with Google to have all of their apps there. Amazon was like, no, we're not going to install all the Google apps because we want to use Android on our own terms. So when you have an Amazon Fire tablet, you're going to have to jump through some hoops to get these apps here, Play Store, Docs, Drive, all that stuff to work. And consequently, you're going to have to jump through some hoops to get Google Classroom and Google Meet to work properly. So that's the real issue and that's the problem. So let's see how we could fix it because there is a fix. Okay, so solution one, which is the least technical solution, is to 
buy an Android tablet that actually has Android and Google apps on it and Google Meet will work on it instantly. So the cheapest one that you could get that works well all the time, which I usually recommend to other people, is a Galaxy Tab A. You will see a link to that in the description. If you want to just get over with and buy something that will work with Google Meet, then just buy an Android tablet. Second choice would be to get a Chromebook because Chromebooks are basically Google Chrome and it works well with Google and Google Classroom and Google Meet. So everything is Google and you don't really have any issues that will solve your problems too, but that will cost you money. And I gave those two as the first two solutions because those are the easiest. They cost, but those are the easiest. The most difficult solution is to actually install all the Google services on the Amazon Fire tablet. The problem with this, there are two problems. One, you could potentially put harmful software on the device if you don't download it properly. And two, whenever the apps update, they may break and they may just stop working. So take that into consideration. So here's how you do it. In the description of this video, I have links to four things you have to download. The four things that you have to download are called APKs you must download them on the Fire tablet itself. So how you get the vid this video on the Fire tablet to see the information, that is up to you. But you have to go to a particular site that will give you an Android app that you can install on the side. It's called side loading. Basically what you're doing is you're installing an app that Amazon didn't intend to have on their tablet. When you install the app, then you will be trying to contact Google to say, hey, Google, I'm your friend now. So I am supposed to be able to use Google Meet now. Please allow me to use it properly on this tablet that Amazon do doesn't want me to use it on. So let's go. The first one that you will see is called Google Account Manager. Google Account Manager is basically going to allow you to log in with your Gmail address. So download that one. You have to install them in the order that I am seeing right now. The second one is Google Services Framework. After you have your account and you're able to log in, you have to be able to connect to the Google servers to be able to get access to all of the things that Google allows that Amazon probably didn't want you to get to. The third one is Google Play Services. Google Play Services allows you to be able to connect to the Play Store. Now on an Amazon Fire tablet, you will get the Amazon App Store, which has Android apps, but it doesn't have all the Android apps because as I explained before, they don't want you to use Google apps. The fourth one you have to install is the Google Play Store. The Google Play Store now will be able to now let you go to the Google Play Store and see all the apps that are available and then you can install them on the Fire Tablet, which basically mimics what the Amazon App Store on the Fire Tablet is going. And then once you have the Google Play Store, you can go and download Google Meet onto the Fire Tablet and then when you install it there, it should work. If it doesn't work, I put a link to the most updated version of Google Meet in the links of this video. However, remember, as I said before when I was explaining, it's possible that when the apps update, they won't work properly. And when they don't work properly, you're probably going to have to do the process over because you don't know which one of the four has been updated to have a new way of contacting the Google servers. So you can try that. Option one, just get a cheap Android tablet, which would be like a Galaxy Tab A, link in the description. Option two, the most seamless way is get a Chromebook, link in the description. Option three is to try to install all the apps on your Android tablet, links in the description also, but that one, you are possibly risking damaging your device and I take no responsibility for it. All I'm doing is trying to provide solutions. The choice is yours. So. That's the way that we could tackle the Amazon Fire Tablet issue with Google Meet. And let's see how it goes.